Uh, now, April uh, the 23rd, isn't it? It's St George's Day. It is. <laughs> uh, when everything English is celebrated. Uh, but in this multicultural region, just what is Englishness? Well, the Manchester-based artist Michael Brown is famous for his controversial artwork, and he took on one, more of, one of his more unusual commissions for a special programme to be broadcast tonight, and I'm glad to say that Michael joins us now. And before we talk about the challenge that you took up to explore uh, Englishness through your art, let's just have a reminder of why you were chosen. You are very well established. Uh, you've done this amazing ceiling of a restaurant having. I think we can have a look at it now. Just tell us a bit about it. It was a replica of the Sistine Chapel. It was. It did it in 1994, and um, it's on a restaurant ceiling in Manchester, and it's about 2,000 square feet. And two years of hard work. Yeah. And, uh, and then after that, you've done one that maybe most people have remembered, or will, will have remembered, is the Eric Cantona one, which quite controversial. It was at the time, and yeah. featured on this programme. Yes. Yeah. That was 10 foot by 8 foot, and Eric Cantona purchased it, and it was unveiled at the City Art Gallery in Manchester. Mm -hmm. It's stunning stuff, and then obviously one that you've explored through mixed race, because you are mixed race yourself, and it links in with what you had to do in the end, uh, is a beautiful photograph, uh, a painting of uh, Rio Ferdinand, yeah. Winston Churchill and Wayne Rooney, and they posed for you, didn't they? Well, they the did, footballers well, yeah, did. Yeah. <laughs> I got a consent, you know, at the time, and basically it's to show that we're all of dual nationality, you know, we're of different um, St Lucian part, St Lucian is out uh, Rio, and uh, Wayne's part Irish, Churchill's part American, you know, so it's the multicultural thing, but you've got a patriotism to your country, regardless of your, you know, the heritage and the background, is a, still a kind of, uh, is, you know, there's sort of like ancestry all over, so I sort of expressed it in the painting, really, of what we consider typically English, and the mm. British spirit, you know, with Churchill in particular. Right. Now, we move you on now to the mm. challenge you were set uh, by this programme, which was to encapsulate Englishness uh, mm. within five weeks. And before that, you went off into a uh, totally unknown territory to you, the Lake District. Yeah. Never been there before. Here you are, a city man going there. Uh, now, did you have worries about how you, as a mixed uh, race man, would be received up there? Were there any anxieties about it because you didn't know anything about the people there? Well, I mean, people move around, obviously, and people see everybody here and they're generally out and about but I just felt I didn't know anybody didn't know how people were the habits the traits the kind of hobbies and the pastimes and what people's interests were in the countryside and me being in the city I thought well I know I'm in a samba band I do different things I sort of I have different sort of interests it's a big city cinemas and all that so you met lots of characters there didn't yeah, you yeah yeah Yes, because because in there you did your research, you met your characters, you met the seventeen-year-old, seventy-year-old gardener, the lady who made the gingerbread, uh, and also you put into that mix uh, mm. from Manchester yeah. uh, the black samba dancer, and well, then Tony, the, the band leader for the samba. Indeed. Yeah. So let's have a look at the picture. Here's yeah. the final picture. Just tell us about that because it, you say it changed your outlook to Englishness. Well, he Tony represents sort of multiculturalism. You know, he's got lots of members in the Samba School from all different countries. That, uh, you know, visitors come here, visitors who come here as well. And uh, Joanne, she's sort of a local uh, a gingerbread seller in Grasmere, and her generations have been there for you know, well, since the 1850s. This uh, her business started. So I've juxtaposed the two together Stunning. in a kind of Garden of Eden mm. situation, mm. and uh, with a church in the background, and it's set on Wordsworth's grounds, yes. his garden. Well, Michael, yeah. it is and absolutely it is. beautiful. So and the we look both, between those yeah. two is magnificent. And we've both watched cool. the programme. Uh, right. And we think it's absolutely brilliant. And uh, if you want to watch that programme, it's called Made in England, and it's on at uh, 10.40 on BBC One tonight. And if you've uh, been inspired, then have a look at his website, uh, at this website, uh, bbc.co.uk forward slash Made in England. And lots of stories about uh, how the North West inspires artists and how you can get creative too.